I think at this point, it's just very clear that liberals are incapable of self-government. Uh, they aren't able to enforce the law. They aren't able to have anything that's pro-social. Everything about their coalition is about destroying law and order. And so I think when the consequences come, they don't care because ultimately the important part is using an arco tyranny to govern a lot of people that they hate. Yeah, it does seem like it's uh, something that happens to other people in their eyes and it's not something you have to think about. Uh, it's interesting because I just pulled a crime statistics, but one of the areas that are that's in his congressional district is west hollywood which has seen a 137 percent uh crime increase in one year that was in 2022 i mean he knows that crime is bad what was he thinking and also again does it just not matter is he not thinking i mean i don't i don't know what the hell he's thinking like it's it's kind of obvious you you can look around and you see like a ton of homeless people and stuff like you you can just use your kind of just gut instinct to be like hey this area looks like it's not a good idea to leave stuff in my vehicles. You, I'm sh he has to know about, you know, the policies of the rental car places that are like, you know, telling people don't leave anything in your car or whatever. Like, so, I mean, it, it's I'm, funny that it happened to him, but I yeah, mean, I'm, I'm going to go with Orrin on this one and liberals are not capable of self-governance. <clears throat> this like, he's just has no idea what's going on. Does he? I mean, it's out of touch, it seems like no but, cause and effect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and he has to worry because now his you know, suitcase could be in the possession of a cross-dresser who works for the Biden administration, right? I mean, <laughs> no, no, that only happens at airports and to oh, women. Okay, all right. You know, right. And part of me looking at all this stuff, I'm kind of like, maybe this is just the ebb and flow of society that we have made everything so safe and comfortable that those who normally could not survive in this environment are now capable of doing so and then achieving political power, which causes conflict. You know, it's 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 like the fourth turning. It's a Strauss out generational theory, but I don't think it's necessarily that um, weak weak men make hard times is is the easy way to put it. It's that there's just lack of responsibility across the board. I, I guess it's technically true to say weak men create hard times. Hard times make strong men. Strong men make good times. All that stuff. But um, you know what, what what I see here is people vote for random chaos. I look at it more like just static. It's noise, right? There's no organization. Because the strong people allow the chaos to actually grow. Then the chaos overtakes the order, things go crazy, and then things like, so, so it's like an ebb and flow of order and chaos, I guess. There's a, the people, just the fact that our society demands a social safety net, it, it, it totally glosses over the fact that a, a, the existence of a social safety net is saving people that otherwise would not be saved. And that means that like, and it's very Darwinian and stuff, but it's like, if you're, if you have like people that otherwise like would die off or, or like couldn't survive, like with the social safety net, that's, that's making sure that these people survive. So it's, it's like, you know, you're going to have a, a society, you're going to have a, a portion of your society that you have to do something with that can't function in society because of the fact that you have a social safety net, right? We don't allow people to just die in the street. So you have to have a society that says, we acknowledge that we have a social safety net and we're going to do something about it. And that's something that California hasn't done. If you're gonna have a social safety net, you have to have a place to put people that can't function in society normally. I, I feel like if we didn't have a social safety net, we wouldn't have people dying in the street. I feel like it is the creation of the social safety net which creates people dying in the street. It reduces the responsibility of families and communities to take care of people. If yeah. you used to, if you had smaller communities, if you had communities that weren't artificially created, people would feel a duty. They would know the guy at the end of the street. They would know the family he's connected to. They would feel compelled to do that. But when it's handed over to the government, they don't feel that. And so therefore they're like, well, that's someone else's problem. And that abstraction allows but, them to have this stuff. 